Secretary Academy's West Point is being sued for considering race as a factor in admissions. The lawsuit follows a landmark Supreme Court decision that struck down affirmative action at public and private universities. The decision exempted military academies at the time. So let's bring in former House Intelligence Committee National Security Advisor Cash Patel. Cash, great to have you on. I want to put this up. This is this is the lawyer. His name is William Trackman, and he is part of the lawsuit uh, against West Point. Listen to him. The numbers will be relevant because they look like West Point has a quota system. For over 50 years, the court has agreed that a quota system is unconstitutional in every instance. Except maybe in military academies. What do you think? I think a quota system is unconstitutional across the board in the United States of America. Look, as the former chief of staff of the Department of Defense, who's charged with the National Mission Force and running that operation and no-fail mission, that is the one place where you want young men and women to apply to these service academies and get in based on qualifications, period. I'm a minority. I didn't ask to be put in those posts because I have brown skin or because my background is Indian American. I've got in those positions because of qualifications that others judged me on and accepted them. And the last thing you want is for a service member, these young men and women are gonna be our future leaders of the National Mission Force, to be in a kinetic situation with your teammates and they fail to meet the task because they got a hall pass because of their minority status. We cannot have that in the service academy. Yeah, it's a fair point. Uh, here's Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro on automatic voter registration. Now when you go to the DMV to get a driver's license, renew your driver's license, Joe, you'll be able to automatically get registered to vote unless you choose to opt out. There's about 1.7 million Pennsylvanians who are eligible to vote but aren't registered. Quick footnote, Barack Obama applauds this law in Pennsylvania. Yeah, look, it's no coincidence. Remember, we just caught the Biden administration uh, who is in the process of printing IDs through the Department of Homeland Security for illegal immigrants. They just waved in 478,000 illegal Venezuelans mm -hmm. and gave them status. And now we see Pennsylvania rolling out registration rolls. And this is the problem. These IDs sort of collide into one another and they lead to individuals getting not just driver's licenses, but the right to vote, which is a constitutional right for Americans and not illegal immigrants. They are very good at playing the game at the no. voter registration rolls. They've been doing it for a long time. Miranda Devine wrote this in the New York Post, quoting, you would think that an attorney general who has presided over the embarrassing debacle of the Hunter Biden investigation would express contrition or maybe a little anger at the underlings who have shamed him when he is hauled before a congressional committee to explain his failures. But alas, Merrick Garland is just another Mr. Magoo. His department is ablaze, but he knows nothing. What was your impression of the attorney general yesterday before Congress? It was an abject failure of the top law enforcement officer in the country to rise to the demand of the nation's needs in law enforcement. He has lied to Congress under oath about the Hunter Biden investigation and his involvement in it and communications he's had. He's lied to the world about whether or not Joe Biden was involved in prosecuting the Donald Trump cases because Joe Biden had to waive executive privilege as the president of the United States. So that conversation had to have occurred. And he's also blockaded Congress yep. from receiving multiple documents that are under subpoena for now six, seven, eight, nine months. These are felonies that other people have been prosecuted for and our top law enforcement yeah. officer um, seems to think all of that is beneath him, and he knows better than the rest. The two-tier system of justice yeah. is rampant. And I, I wouldn't call him Mr. Magoo. I call him a government gangster <laughs> of the first order. Cash Patel, look forward to the new book. It's called? Government Gangsters. Government Gangsters. Cash Patel, best of luck. Thank you for coming on. Thanks so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.